Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today I want to show you Neo Charge. Neo Charge is a device where if you have only one 240 volt plug, it will cost a lot to have another 240 volt somewhere else. This device will let you plug in two electric vehicles at the same time. The machine will determine which vehicle will get charged first and it will charge both overnight. Basically, this will control that. So open that up. You can buy this device that is hooked up with a EV charging and the dryer or mine is a NEMA 1450 version that does two electric vehicles but a lot of the older garage has a dryer in the in the garage using 240 volts so you can split that between the dryer and the EV charging but I don't have a dryer in the garage by the way this is the best of the best from Habel. So I bought this so I can charge two electric vehicles and not worry about installing another uh, 240 volt outlet. It looks like that. It comes with a bracket. You can use a bracket. You don't have to use a bracket, but I would use a bracket. It plugs into the main like that. And those are the specs. There's one side. It says SCC. That means secondary. This side, PRI for primary. That's all NEMA 1450 plugs. The electric regulators in here. Luckily, there's the bracket here to use those screws and uh, so you can do the mounting bracket there and using these screws, different set of screws. We've installed the uh, Habel uh, industrial version. So this is a lot smaller. This one is made for the one gang electrical outlet and this Habel version uses two gang. So it's a lot wider and bigger. Since it doesn't go in, I might have to install it something like this because they, they provide a long screw. So it will look like this. It will still plug in. Let's plug the Neo Charge. Very tough device. It went in. See, it plugs in all the way. It was going to have that much gap anyway because my Habel device is popped out from the socket. It, it is a big uh, industrial version that everybody recommended because it's gonna draw a lot of power for a long time. Cause usually electric vehicles are plugged in over seven hours, five, seven hours. So it's constant draw. Unlike uh, like a dryer where you use it for only maybe hour, hour and 30. And I'm plugging in two electrical charge. So you have to use the, the industrial grade, commercial grade, 240 volt, and which is a Habel. That's the only one that they recommend. This wasn't gonna go all the way to the wall anyway because of the gap here anyway. So it works perfectly. So once you plug it in, they provide you with these lugs that you can tighten by your hand. So this one doesn't accidentally get pulled out. Works perfectly. And make sure your power box is turned off for this. My fuse box, see, future. That's it right here, 50 amps. I'm gonna turn it on, so it is on. So that light is indicating it is good. See white, nothing's wrong. Perfect, both sides. So it's ready to be charged. Neo charge is set up and I'm waiting for Tesla to come. It's been nine months, I'm still waiting, but this is the Tesla's NEMA 1450 plug. There you go. And uh, like I mentioned, this device lets me use two different uh, electric vehicles. It does a self-management by giving this side power first. Then when it's done, it will give this side the power next. So it will do the smart management. Okay, so Neo Charge has its own app. So let's check that out. It does auto login if you set it up that way. So this device uh, connects with my Wi-Fi. And that's the lifetime usage. And you can kind of see the summary of what's going on. Separately analyzed. When you click on it, it compares Porsche and Tesla. And you can turn on both to compare. And one week, one month view. Actual data of who charged what. So blue green is Porsche and the yellow is Tesla. Right now, I don't have a Tesla. I'm still waiting, so I'm waiting for it. So anyways, they have this app and it does the notification using this app through Wi-Fi. Anyway, so this is the Porsche's uh, charger. It's a bulky charger. This comes with it, and this wall mount comes with it. It has a cable locking system, so it doesn't get loose. And this is the device. Once you plug it in, it will turn on, turn on automatically. Right now, it's on sleep mode. I bought this separately. You can take this out and plug it in here if you don't have the top. That's from Amazon. 
I like the angle of this original uh, Porsche plug. The handle doesn't protrude out, but that's only for Porsche. If, uh, if you have a Tesla, it might be different. I don't have a Tesla yet. I'm still waiting. It's been like eight months. That's the setup that I have. And if I push the power, see, it comes on. They have a different uh, setup of charging only at 50% capacity and they were 100%. I set it at 100%. And to charge, everybody does the swipe, but I don't know why they do that. You just have to touch it and it just opens. So I don't know why they do like, like that kind of motion. See, it doesn't work as well. How I open it is I just touch it. See, <laughs> it opens. So if you want the fast DC charging, you just have to push this down and plug it in. Thank you for viewing my video and see you on the next one.